So I don't know. I'm, I'll get the slug video done by. I'm hoping. What day is it? It's Sunday. So at the end of next week. It should be up by the weekend. Um, I'm not going to really work on anything else in between. Over one month later. I bet you guys thought I forgot about you, didn't you? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm still here. Here's the video. But before we start, a disclaimer from Sluggy Wuggy here. Do not harass him. Do not harass anyone associated with him. Do not harass his community. Do not harass anyone vaguely associated with him. Because I don't condone that. And if you do, you're as bad as him. Because I know one thing. He will not openly say not to do that. I hope he gets COVID and dies. Oh, I never thought we'd get here. This is Angry Slug, a self-proclaimed hacker. I'm going to school to learn how to commit a crime. What the fuck does that mean? Graduate of multiple degrees. What degrees have you gotten so far? Information technology and a focus in cybersecurity and a video editing degree. Sure, Jan. Voice actor. I don't understand why we have to be here and 3D printer, all of which are either exaggerated or just outright lies. Ignore all the failed prints all over the office. Over the years that Slug has been on YouTube, he's tried to secure an online presence by vlogging his own life. I am dealing with so much fucking snow. Being bad at video games on stream, and either inserting himself into other people's drama or just making up his own in order to stay relevant. Victimize himself and gain sympathy. When I first met Slug about a year ago, he was trying to impress Repsion by trying to dox my family, basically. That's your mother. Yeah, why? He's fucking looking up my family and broadcasting it to people. So this is the person that, quote unquote... Yeah, that's my girlfriend, dude. This is all public info. Harassing us to the point where he's telling my mother a lot at the time that I was a CP distributor and broadcasting her social media on his channel as well as my fiancés, my actual mother, and my siblings in an attempt to scare me into thinking that he could dox me so I would stop making Repsion videos. Uh, this obviously didn't work, and when it didn't work, Slug impersonated a hacker slid into my DM said, Hey, you should ask this guy how his Uncle John is doing, while also sending me blurred pictures of, uh, public Facebook pictures of Slug, <laughs> which makes me think hey, this is probably Slug doing this. Uh, also, as soon as I asked Slug how his Uncle John was doing, and this was my only interaction with him in DMs after he was, like, constantly harassing me, he automatically spun that into, like, I was trying to dox him all of a sudden, and then went with that narrative. These are just some of the various things he said to me, but I wasn't responding to him. Now, Steve, I hope you enjoy your time on Crows of Judgment. Gonna be enjoying making a reaction video to your lies you spew there. Then again, finally learning from someone who actually knows this shit while you, a shitty musician and child porn owner, don't understand how this shit works. Good job on deleting your Facebook and finally privating your Insta told your girlfriend to remove the location from it. Also, remove your location from your SoundCloud too, you punk. Laugh my ass off, I even spoke to the devs of this bot, that's not bulletproof. Now, 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 if you are your husband Crow are not scared enough, you two would debate. Enjoy, Steven. Some good advice for someone who does not get the public information from the public. It's all according to plan. He then live streamed the Google Drive that he claimed had CP in it for some reason. By the way, you stupid fuck, you're telling everybody that the Google Drive has CP in it, and you're saying that you're showing it up on your stream? Are you this fucking stupid? He is, I'm telling you. What is wrong with you? Everybody, Steve has CP on this Google Drive. Let's look at it. Under the justification that he was using a virtual machine. Now, I don't think he realizes that even if you're using a virtual machine, you're still broadcasting yourself looking at the contents of the drive and distributing it publicly, which is not something you want to do if you think there's CP in a fucking Google Drive. <laughs> After all this, I tried to empathize with Slug because I'm an idiot, apparently. I thought no one could be this sociopathic while simultaneously being like, I think the most moronic person I've ever come across in my life. Is that a booba? No, that's a booba. No.
That was Booba. But I was wrong, as Slug would prove to me in the following months as he kept inserting himself into other people's drama while falsely crying victim. I mainly ignored Slug's endeavors, minus a few that I thought I needed to insert myself in, because Slug always manages to find a way to get into the ear of one of these larger content creators to unknowingly do Slug's bidding for him. Like when he convinced Tipster and Augie that Film Librarian actually doxed him and they got banned from a bunch of communities. I mean, I've given my opinion on that particular situation and I'll just be like, you know, blunt with you on how I feel about it. Like just because somebody's stupid enough to post their own docs online. I don't think it's like right to signal boost it. Even though the only posts they made were posts that Slug had made himself publicly on these platforms. And he only didn't like that he made those posts after he was outed as an idiot on Edwin's live stream when they grilled him about the Chris Hansen shit. I never said that he was doing illegal things on OnlyFans. Uh, yes, you did. Wait, you bullshit. Said you you no, 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 you no, no. Said I said copyright. he broke the law not via OnlyFans. Oh just by doing indecent exposure. Didn't you say he put so things that he didn't own the yeah. copyright to? No, That's... I did not claim he was breaking the law. Is he breaking the law in Washington state based upon what you've seen him do on OnlyFans? Yes. Which he most recently tried to deflect all blame onto Chris Hansen, saying that it was Chris Hansen's idea to lie the whole time, <laughs> that Chris Hansen made him do it. Then... Did you think it was a crime at the time? No. Did, did... What? Oh, oh, so you knew it wasn't a crime. And yeah, I openly lied because I brought it up to Hanson and I said, hey, man, I don't feel comfortable about that shit. I don't feel comfortable about saying it. And he's like, don't worry about it. No one will care. So I went Wait, through whoa, with whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he Chris Hanson said that to you directly? Yeah. That's why I'm making this video and I think it's important. Because if you can believe it, that's just a very brief intro into the person that Slug is. And all the damage he's done to the community through his lying, harassment, and doxing, and countless attempts to try to weaponize minors. This isn't the first video that's been made on Slug, but there hasn't been a video summarizing all of Slug's insane behavior that he's exhibited towards countless people. This video won't be a timeline of events as there's no method to his madness and he tends to cycle through the same motions in different situations. So to keep everything organized, I'll be focusing on each defining characteristic that this mollusk displays on a regular basis. Just so we're so, all on the same page, you, you admit to doxing, but you only doxed a pedo. Like, he's a, he's a verified pedo. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. I, I only admit to that because, you know. Okay. So just over the short period of the year that I've known Slug, I've seen him dox seven people out of spite for just me alone. Are you gonna dox someone because you got mad at me? I have no reason to. I have no what was your to reason to last time? The reason to last time? Shit, man, that was fucked up. I was pissed. Spread multiple people's doxes behind the scenes and get children to intimidate his grown ass adult enemies with their own doxes. He's also blackmailed people with their doxes, such as Heat Boss, threatening to get him fired if he didn't let Slug win a debate. You're not gonna lose your job over Slug. You can, you can, especially with yeah. stuff like that. What? But yeah, my first encounter with Slug was him trying to dox my family because he didn't like the fact that I was making Repsion videos after being called out for fence sitting and playing double agent between Colton and Repsion's crew, basically. Similar to what he was doing with Chris Hansen and the Goon Squad, ironically, which Bull Blacks called him out for when Slug went on shot for the point. I think you know. only went out once Chris Hansen started looking stupid. If everybody still loved Chris Hansen, agree. you'd still be with him. You like clout. You. The, you're like, Chris Hansen, he's looking good. I want to be with him. Oh, these guys are exposing Chris Hansen. Now let me pretend to be their friend, pretend to be friends with uh, some ordinary gamers trying to help him out. And then I, I heard you, like, wasted his time. All you motherfucking do is sit there, waste 30 minutes of my goddamn day listening to your bulls. And then when we question you about it, you can run back and say, oh, well, I'm sorry. Clyde me over, guys. But here's some a mental breakdown for you to fucking watch, because that's better evidence than what the fuck we asked you for. Do you got a counter to that? No, I don't have a counter because okay. these are valid criticisms. Okay. I'm a big fan of Muda, and the dude thinks I'm a fucking retard. And now oh, you're trying to so come on this stream to look good. No, I'm not trying to. <laughs> if Tommy was disliked, if everybody was canceling Tommy right now, you would not be on here. Um, I did go back and forth, and that was just my fault. Trying to figure out like, who like if Chris Hansen's more like. <laughs> nah. uh, I don't know. I'm able to hop into fucking uh, Tommy C streams and get yelled at and not have a big deal about it. Uh, After Slug somehow convinced Tipster and Agi that Film Librarian were doxers, I wanted to debate him ask how he thought that anything that was posted was a dox. We were supposed to go on RSN, but he chickened out and said he couldn't reschedule because he was busy every day for the rest of the year. I'm busy for the rest of the year. 
I don't it's do like YouTube you do as a for job. The rest of the year, though. It's called university, and I have a job. For the rest of you don't have weekends off. No. You don't have, no. You don't, you, how? You don't have like an hour out of any of these days. That no. You can, uh... What about Christmas? I don't get that off. What? Slug. I Everyone don't. Gets Christmas off. I don't. What? I work through it. I don't celebrate. <laughs> I'm live now, and this is my only day off. For the rest of the year? Yes. Slug, like, I don't want to see you messing around for the rest of the year then. I don't have or to. any more drama for I... the rest of the year. So we talked for a bit on his stream, and the only justification he came up with for the public's post being doxes themselves is that Slug thought that them bringing attention to it was unnecessary. Was it his job you to point a spotlight? I did not. You did, but then you, when you private shit, then you're like, oh, well, it's not a. Uh, I public did not make that guys, public. So it's so, like, how could he have found it if it wasn't public? Like, explain how that works. I have no idea. I've never given him information. <laughs> it doesn't work. Like, exactly. Steve, you think is it is his job? Do you think Phil is a hacker? I think they're both mentally incompetent. Mm hmm. So then how would they have been able to find this information if it wasn't public? Steve, stupid people can be right every now and then. Which if you want to go by that logic, everything anyone does online is unnecessary. It doesn't mean you were doxxed. People pointing to the dumb shit you did yourself online is not a dox, especially when you've done it across multiple platforms. I gave up trying to make it make sense to him, and seeing as he only had four viewers in his chat, I figured it was pointless trying to prove anything to the non-existent audience there. Okay, so like if we have this debate, and let's say I win this so-called debate, um, no one's going to know because no one's watching this. And then you could delete the video if you don't like how it goes. It's... So I'd rather have it be on like a channel that's not mine or yours. I don't see it being very productive as doing it on here. So I just let him think he won the debate. <laughs> you don't want to debate. I don't want to debate on your platform, no. And I, I already explained that. So when people rewatch it, they'll understand my reasoning for leaving. And, okay. Uh, you're busy for the rest of the year, right? So that's, that's yeah. you. Um, like I said, if you want to do it on any other platform other than this or mine, because I don't think, I think that's biased either way, then uh, I'm down. But you're still angry that I didn't give him the reaction that he wanted, so he decided to talk to seven people. Four of those people being pretty close to me, I would consider them friends. Uh, not me though, just people connected to me. So like justification for this was he was trying to one-up me. Are you gonna dox someone because he got mad at me? I have no reason to. I have no what reason What was your to. reason to last time? And I'm not getting mad, I'm actually really... The reason to last time? Shit, man, that was fucked up. I was pissed and I thought I was like gonna one up you. Then after a bit, I deleted it after <laughs> being called out. Yeah, that shit. No, I'll agree with you. That shit was fucked up, but you have no evidence. Uh, some people argue, like uh, Dean here, that Slug wasn't the person who did the initial doxing and he was just sharing a link. Macy doxed seven people. After looking into this seven doxes claim, it appears to be nothing more than a deflection tactic. As far as I can tell, it's based off of the girl sharing a Kiwi Farms link that directs you to a post where the OP doxed seven people. However, spreading a link to Kiwi Farms on a place like Twitter, where not everyone on Twitter goes to Kiwi Farms, not all your followers go to Kiwi Farms either. What would you say that counts as? You can't just shove a person's information in another person's face and not call it a dox. He also gave a minor from Britain Lucky Phil's full dox and told him to pretend to be the royal family doing a background check to get Phil to take down all of his social media posts on Slug. Uh, but I'll get more into that into the weaponizing minor section of this video. But he gave this kid Phil's full address, social media, his phone number, and told him to call him at 5 in the morning after reaching out to him on Discord and sending him an email full of demands to abide by a certain date or else. Slug threatened to get heat bus fired if he didn't throw the debate that I was a moderator for. Do you have my personal information? Because I really don't want it to do- I really don't want this to happen, Matt. I really don't either. That's then why I said, do you hey, have my personal counter. information? I do not. Okay, then I really don't want you to bring me to court. Because I don't want to lose my job. And I really don't- I don't, don't want, want you to. I don't want you to. You're not gonna lose your job over Slug. You can. You can. Especially with yeah. stuff like that. Here here in my state, you can you can get fined. Not only fined, but also you can lose your employment. We live in Canada, yeah, where, uh, I don't uh, know, right it would be really hard to find Heat Boss's real name. And I don't think 
Um, unless it makes his company look bad, which I doubt he boss's company gives a fuck about the drama community on YouTube or Twitter. I don't think that they'd fire him, especially if he's good at his job. Um, I'm just saying. But, I mean, you can try. Claiming that he obtained Slug's doc through a phone number that Heatboss gave Slug to make a burner account in order to get into a Nisian's Discord server or some shit. Slug, so, didn't you say that you were going to sue me because you, you got my personal information from my phone number that I gave you for a Discord burner account? Yeah, I know. Okay, I understand. I'm a fucking idiot. Yell at me on Twitter. Unfortunately, you can't find that information as easily in Canada as you would be able to in America. So Slug was just lying as per usual, but he was still trying to threaten Heatboss with his docs in order for for him to throw a debate and make himself appear innocent in regards to posting CP links to Twitter. Uh, I think this should be noted that this is the only evidence Slug ever points to when asked if he posts CP to Twitter. A debate he blackmailed his opponent into winning. What did Slug do to me? It's a very interesting question. It's a very, very, very interesting question that many people have asked. Well, you know, he's lied about me being a rapist. He's lied about me being an incel. I'm not a fucking incel. I'm not a fucking coward like, unlike him. He, like, oh, the slug, the great protector of women, then goes over and fucking starts insulting women. You fucking call stuff like a cunt. You start all these fights with all these YouTubers, and you go into all these discords, and you spam your stupid little fucking Google Doc like that's gonna do anything. What the fuck is that gonna do? Oh, oh no, I was doxed. I was, yo, know, you weren't fucking doxed. You probably did threat CP, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna back down from that. I mean, I'll be a threat right now. You may be a threat down the road. You may get pissed off. You may hurt somebody. Which brings us to this Discord server Slug owned called Storage. That had multiple people's docs as well as personal information that Slug would add people he knew would harass his enemies for him with said information. He saw this as a way to keep his hands clean. The account that Slug made the Discord server with was actually terminated for violating Discord's terms of service. Also giving Slug an out on why he couldn't delete any of the docs or the server itself. But we continued to add people to spread people's docs for him. The docs of these people included me, my exes, Phil, Librarian, and people Slug knows in his personal life, who he's actually been the most malicious to. The server was so bad that once a close friend of mine contacted Discord's trust and safety team to look into it, it was deleted within an hour. One person I want to touch on before moving on from the doxing section of this video, who I won't name, was a personal friend of Slug's IRL. Since they knew each other outside of the internet, they knew each other's addresses, phone numbers, family numbers, etc. Slug got so mad at this friend for dating this person Slug calls Clyde for whatever reason. <laughs> Clyde is apparently the reason Slug is angry all the time. I'm not getting pissed at y'all. I'm getting pissed at Clyde. Clyde? Because I am... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 He's brought them up before and likes to spread around this recording of them having a mental breakdown, which Slug actually got charged with wiretapping for recording. Might not want to be spreading that shit around. I can play this right now. This this call has some sort of evidence that Nisian hates his kids. No, 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 no. So why'd you send me this? Let me, no, let me explain the oh, reason laughing, why the it. call was sent. Let me explain why the call <laughs> okay, was sent, is. and I have... What is the context of this phone call that you sent me? Okay, so, look, this phone call was in context of my, the person, Clyde, having been tagged on Twitter, hence why I cannot be out here giving exact information involving that. Okay, I see, I see. So guys, we're not gonna get anything from this, what you're trying to say. Yeah, this person had like a breakdown here. You wanna watch it with me? Like that's kind of Either way, this ex-friend of Slugs who was dating Clyde soon became Slugs' new focus as he began spreading their personal information. And also claimed that he was going to show up at his house one of these days to be either beat the shit out of him or kill him. And that he was coming up with a plan to poison his animals? This ex-friend of Slug had horses that would be left attended overnight and Slug knew the location of, so he was actually looking up ways to poison them. So this isn't even Slug being hyperbolic, he literally wanted to kill a dude's animals for dating someone he didn't like. Or maybe he loves Clyde and that's why he's mad, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> The only thing I know for sure is the statements made by Slug are very fucking disturbing. The fact that he at least wanted to hurt these individuals, if not directly, by killing fucking animals is insane. It's like a whole new level of fucked. And this guy, this guy, wants to be the one to bring ILJ to justice. Isn't that ironic? Fucking two animal killers. Slug doxing and intimidating people with their doxes, either personally or through the children he's recruited, is pretty hypocritical when you look at all the times that he's cried over people doxing him, despite 
actually never being doxxed. Like, this is the only guy I know who's supposedly been doxxed like 20 times, yet no one knows his address, his phone number, or even what fucking city he lives in. But that doesn't stop him from whining about it to any person who will give him the time of day. Right now, if you go to any of Slug's videos and look at the description, the first thing you'll see is, if you want to know what Steve DeLive, Lucky Phil, and the librarian have done to me, this Google document explains everything, which links to a 41-page Google Doc. Dude, this script was only 22 pages. This Google Doc is so bad that he already got clowned on it. So bad that he kind of deleted it. It's not on me that. to do the research for someone. It's not on me to do that. It kind of fucking is when you're sitting there making claims. Yeah, my gun, malicious intent, and you don't even want to specify it. I've already fucking specified No, you fucking didn't. What was the Yes, I fucking did. No, you didn't. No, you fucking they didn't. They specifically wanted to get me fucking swatted. No, it's they fucking never said obvious. That. No one's gonna read through a whole ass fucking document to read through well, one fucking on thing you made, you that's, fucking dumb piece of shit. Them. You ain't that's suing nobody. As a sign of good faith, I will delete this document. And it's on stream too. Yeah. Delete yeah, the document, document, remove the Anyone document. Anyone on stream that hasn't read it, it's fucking worthless. To... <laughs> <laughs> Just to put it back up when he was back in his safe space. Ironically, he actually apologized for involving me with this Phil and Librarian drama and saying that I distribute CP, but he took it all back after I told him I was making this video on him. Funny, right? To go over this whole Google Doc would be such a waste of time to do in the video because there's literally nothing here. Uh, but if that's something that seems interesting to you, I'm going to be going over this as well as his Yahoo questions in the live stream after this premiere. I call them after streams. This is a new thing I'm toying with. Basically, if you catch the premiere and you watch it to the end of the video, it'll auto redirect you to the live stream, which will be unlisted. If you miss it live, all the replays will be available for all channel members. I just something extra I want to do for the people to make the live and like, yeah, the channel members. So stick around if you want some extra escargot on your diet today. But enough shilling my amazing ideas, back to Slug. The gist of what Slug is salty about in this Google Doc is that film librarian reminded this dumbass that before he made a fool of himself on Edwin's live stream and accused Nicholas Diorio of being a Nazi, his main focus for content was vlogs around his campus where he repeatedly said his full name and where he was going to school. This wasn't a problem until he was caught lying on Chris Hansen and he didn't want anyone knowing who he was anymore. Because he was caught lying and accusing people of doing terrible things with no evidence which he continues to do to this day. I'm trying to avoid using his legal name as much as possible because I don't want to give him any wiggle room to say that I'm trying to dox him. <laughs> it's been said like a billion times at this point. But he linked his real name to his online identity, not only on other social media sites, but on YouTube itself. Which makes it extremely hypocritical of him to be going around actually doxing and threatening people while crying that he told everyone where he went to university. Not to note that all this drama with film librarians started after they banned him from Boblox's server because Slug followed librarians' private Instagram on an alt and was posting his personal information from that account in Bull Blacks' server. But Phil and Librarian can't show what you've posted publicly to YouTube. That's a dox. He also claimed that Rose Malay threatened to dox his mom and kept saying that she was crazy and out to get him all the way up until the stream I did with her, where he basically shoved the evidence in his face and then he just apologized and went on with his life acting like never ever happened like he always does. Which is probably what he's gonna do with this video. Oh, Slug says at least apologize for falsely accusing you of things. Thank you. I appreciate the apology. I really do. If that's the case, then we can be cool and I can just move on with my life. I just want people to know that I didn't do this, that's all I want to accomplish. But you, you know what we shouldn't have to do is do fire up a fucking live stream to get you to admit it when you could have done that back in June. Well, even right before the stream, you were trying to convince me that Rose is crazy and all this is crazy. And now you're like, okay, yeah, sorry. He's gone as far as threatening minors to remove Phil and Librarian from their server by a certain date or else Slug would involve them publicly and drag them into his drama for endorsing his doxers. When he was told to let up, his response was, this minor has ties to the commentary community and I don't need them on my ass. So Slug is willing to threaten a kid into removing people from his Discord server because he doesn't maybe want his name being mentioned or getting back to the commentary community. Slug has also told numerous people to kill themselves, myself included, about whining that Phil and Librarian are set on getting him to kill himself or killed by other people despite there being no evidence to substantiate this other than librarians saying that he wanted someone to suffer which would be the opposite of ending your life but okay slug can wish death upon others going as far as to tell others that he's going to drive to his irl associates houses to beat the fuck out of them and contemplate poisoning their animals but he'll come and fill a librarian are trying to actually get him harmed irl because you know they posted some posts that he made publicly he also streamed what he thought was cp after accusing me of spreading the exact CP he was streaming. He later down the line went on to share Docsman links to what he believed was CP and could have very well been at the time. We don't know because the links are dead now, but one of the URLs literally had like pedo in it. So I, I don't know, man. If that wasn't bad enough, he also let people know who to get in contact with to obtain CP. Yes, Rohan does. Both on Twitter and on his live stream where he linked Anton's Discord at. And advised people that Anton would give you CP
CP if you ask for it. Now I wonder how Slug would know that. Yes. He would provide evidence. I asked him if he has evidence of the thing. And I told him, please do not send it to me. I can go on the record saying Rohan does. So I find it hypocritical that Slug will tell us all to contact the police if the allegations against him are true and to stop telling people online about it. But when he stumbles across CP online, Slug doesn't contact the police. He adds a bunch of YouTubers on Twitter. Yet he'll file an FBI report on Lucky Film Librarian for like I said a billion times now posting his own public posts. Doesn't turn himself into the police until after he's posted this shit on Twitter. I agree thinking, oh hey, I'll try and help this guy out. And all that. But then when your name comes yeah. into question, that's when you go to the police. Yeah. I think you probably should have went to the police first. It's like also likes calling his adversaries rapists, such as myself and Heat Boss on multiple occasions. One time to prove a point, apparently, despite being a supposed rape victim himself. She just forced me to have sex with her, and it sucked. And getting mad when people make false claims against him. That whole community falsely called me a pedophile, falsely accused me of distributing child pornography, falsely accused me of doxing, falsely accused me of child grooming. Fuck all of you. So I claimed recently that I was getting my community to harass his ex-girlfriend by sending her death and rape threats, which never happened, and that I'm bringing his personal life into the public eye, something he's done to me multiple fucking times. It's hypocritical because like constantly brings up my exes and lies about them to make me look bad. He also adds my mom on Twitter with disgusting, unfounded accusations against me. Like, no one has even said that I hit them. No one has accused me of raping them, but Slug's out here being like, Steve beats women as he's rapist, yeah. Oh, yeah, and he also live streamed all my family social media, so like that's hypocritical as well for him to be like, whoa, these communities out here harassing my family? No, but you harass mine. But whenever Slug gets called out for some bad behavior, he'll just chop it up to, he was just memeing, bro. Told a kid to kill himself and then I hope his mom gets raped. That's a meme, bro. Film my brain reminded me that I told the whole world where I went to school. That's a dox, though. See how skewed Slug's reality is? Or at least how he tries to present things? When he's not harassing, doxing, or sympathy baiting, he's lying. talking about compulsive lying or pathological lying. I'm going to talk to you about some of the traits that people present with when they have this. They tell these wondrous and imaginative stories. I was in the Brentsville Fight Club. Always just within the level of probability. I got stabbed by an ex. Somewhere around here is the scar. Yeah, I see a giant line right there. And someone sick their dog on me and there's a few scars right on my thigh. Well, I mean, it could have happened. Olivia. Oh. Yeah. That's like my sister. Like, yeah. that's my black sister. Me and her were in it. She was in the fight club? Yeah. Well, she is kind of scary. Yeah. It, it's possible. This is real? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Therefore, leading them to getting away with it for longer periods of time. Barely I gotta interrupt. Like the chat's like saying you're full of shit, and you might be, but I, I have to remind the chat Chris Hansen interviewed this guy. So we know that's true. Upon confrontation, they will give in and they'll admit that they were lying what did you fuck up i openly lied on the hansen shit you lied then, you admitted to lie i didn't yeah. know you lied i thought you were just an idiot. oh yeah what no i openly about? fucking lied on the hansen shit Is why you, did you, you lie lie like the first step that like parents teach their kids like how did you miss that one <laughs> what we shouldn't have to do is to fire up a fucking live stream to get you to admit it when you could have done that back in June. The lies that they tell always place them in a favorable light. I should not have to be the guy that's just printing masks to try and save lives. Playing like the hero role where they overcome something and save someone or make something better. There was this one dude, I told him, hey, if you don't stop bothering my friend, I'm gonna put you in a headlock. He didn't stop bothering my friend. I put him in a headlock and he cried. Or they know famous people. I work with large YouTubers, Red Team Reviews, um, Treesicle, DPJ, um, a whole bunch of other channels. They lie because they honestly believe their life is just not interesting enough. You thought I was the boring fat nerd in high school, right? Now I'm not gonna be an armchair psychologist and try to diagnose Slug's condition here, uh, but it's eerie how accurate both those definitions are in regards to Slug's behavior when it comes to lying. Not only will Slug lie to get himself out of trouble and for his own benefit, but he's usually only in trouble to begin with due to some lie that he's told. And it also seems like he will just lie to make himself seem more interesting and valuable. From an early 
age, you can see Slug lying in his archived Yahoo Answers questions that I was able to verify was him through his old handle he used before switching it to Kevin, which is which is his name, called Omega Kit, which is what his channel was named before it was Angry Slug. And on the main channel, up to 216 subscribers. But also, he posted pictures of himself repeatedly asking for dating advice and for people to rate his looks, which also matches Slug's vanity to this day and are pictures of him that haven't been posted anywhere else. So I don't know if it isn't Slug, it would have had to have been like a family member who had access to his phone posting these things, which I find extremely unlikely. Some of these eyes that make him seem more interesting included being able to punch through a car door, seeing his dead relatives, making iPods float induced by dubstep, having a girl fall asleep on him or reverse cowgirl by the river, and having to carry her home for over an hour, <laughs> throwing his best friend through a wall like the Kool-Aid man, oh, yeah! breaking his Taekwondo instructor's arm, saying his dick is a foot long before someone pointed out that he used the wrong end of the ruler and is probably just under five inches, and making up a superhero vigilante in Virginia. Now I think any normal person would see this as obvious lies, but a 14 year old slug who's probably desperately seeking attention and sees some similar stuff being posted online probably thought he could fool a couple people and get a little ego boost. I don't think slug was a master troll at 14 to 17. I don't think he's a master troll now. I think he claims he's a troll who memes to get out of sticky situations. Oh, I told you to kill yourself in a fit of rage? That's just a meme, bro. Oh, I'm spying on your server on an alt and inciting fights between people who I have personal grudges against? It's just a meme. And hey man, like if these questions were a meme, it would be great content to make into a video. Look how many dumb people I fooled on Yahoo Answers. Look at the crazy shit I was saying. But you didn't do that, did you Slug? Instead, you adamantly denied it was you despite there being clear evidence otherwise. Oh look. Another lie. The next blip of slugging what I'm calling LIDAR. Why was I thinking when I wrote that? It was on a classmate's stream on the campus that he claims film librarian docs. So it lists his full name in the description and it was linked to his YouTube channel up until this year, which I find interesting. On the stream you can see it was clearly embellishing if not outright lying. Again, I, I assume to appear interesting, which in itself is harmless and even funny to me how absurd the, some of the shit he says is. But it shows that slug like, compulsively lies even when it doesn't really benefit him and there's nothing to gain from it. Some obvious lies he told him the stream include lying about his age for no reason. Yeah. Like 21. No, you, I thought you're 20. 20 stop lying. Yeah, you're 20. You're I'm 20, you're 19. He's on a sugar high right now. Yeah, oh, that's right. We can't believe anything he says. Saying that he worked for Keemstar, DPJ, and Treesicle. I work with large YouTubers, Red Team Reviews, um, Treesicle, DPJ, um, a whole bunch of other channels. I work with them. Oh my God. Do you know Keemstar? Sadly. Sadly, I was on I drama worked alert. With, I worked with that damn gnome. That he was part of a fight club where he got shot, stabbed, almost had his head chopped off, and someone sicked their dog after him. I was in the Brentsville fight club. There were a few times I got shot, I got stabbed by an ex. Somewhere around here is the scar. Yeah, I see a giant line right there. Yeah, someone tried to cut off my head. And someone sick their dog on me and there's a few scars right on my thigh. This is real? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That he was a porn star in high school. Right. Did he do porn in high school? Yeah. I used to do porn. I used to be a porn star. You're literally having sex till completion, man. And that he was an EDM artist named Electroshock with half a million followers. I used to have a huge following in the EDM scene as Electroshock. I used to have about 500,000 subscribers on YouTube, but all of that got deleted. Which I find unlikely because this is his music. Three months after this live stream, where one of the guests brings up the unfair stigma against males being raped, he made a video claiming that he was raped in high school. How the fuck do I start off a video like this? Is it like this? Just, I am a rape victim. I've always been op open about my sexual encounters. I used to be a porn star. I, I was raped by a girl I was dating back in high school. She just forced me to have sex with her and it sucked. Afterwards, I 
picked up a chair and I threw it at her. In all reality, this shit is just, it's real. Something I also have a hard time believing, not only because I doubt that anyone would want to rape Slick, but then there's all so many other facts about his life on the stream. To another person that already went to high school with him, I like I don't see him not bringing this up if this actually happened. But this is where the idea was planted, I believe. I had to do a live interview with King Star and Rice Gomen. They blatantly sat there on live stream and said, if you're a guy and you get raped, you deserve it because you're a little bitch. How can you let a girl rape you? Now, now some people are going to say, whoa, Steve, you're going against someone's story of sexual assault. Uh, I get that, but let me remind you of all the other shit he's lied about up until this point, just to get attention, and how little he cares about his own story. It sucked. I'll be looking on 4chan to see myself turned into a fucking meme. He also doesn't really seem to have a problem hitting women in this scenario that he's allegedly getting raped in. You're a man, you're able to just hit her, but it's also, you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. You don't know whether or not someone has a weapon on them. His only concern was that if the rapist had a weapon, so he didn't want to piss them off by hitting them, but he still threw a chair at them after the fact. Afterwards, I picked up a chair and I threw it at her. But he says that I hit women. <laughs> I also don't think a sexual assault survivor would be so flippantly calling other people rapists and even child rapists. Like he did a Vic Blanco just the other day for no reason. On top of that, he also says that reading this article about a man being raped brought back things, which prompted him to make the video. Otherwise he had moved on. I've moved on, but hearing about the story about what happened, it it brought back things. So why didn't this chickie saying the same thing not bring back things? I had to do a live interview with King Star and Rice Gomen. They blatantly sat there on live stream and said, if you're a guy and you get raped, you deserve it because you're a little bitch. How can you let a girl rape you? Again, if I thought Slug was even a little bit genuine here, I wouldn't be putting this on the lying section of the video. But this is a disgusting thing to lie about. A real sexual assault survivor would understand how damaging throwing around a false accusation like this can be. Not only for the person you're calling a rapist, but the actual survivor's credibility, which is something you claim to be and acknowledge that police is not believing sexual assault victims is already a problem. So why would you add to it? I didn't call the cops because at the time I'm thinking, they're not going to believe that a guy was raped by a girl. Only fucking angry slug would lie about being raped for internet clout. This is not like me being like, bandwagon, bandwagon, no. He also lied about Nicholas Diario having ties to the KKK and Westboro Baptist Church. Based on rumors, Slug heard in a Discord server. <laughs> Involving this ex panda, can you explain it a bit more to me? Well, Nick in particular, his apparently, according to him, he brags about it in fucking private. Uh, in, I, I think it's in one of the streams where he brags about being involved with the, with the Ku Klux Klan and the Westboro Baptist Church. And can you, um, like... Wait a minute, Aiden! Who am I involved with? Where he brags about being involved with the with the Ku Klux Klan and the Westboro Baptist Church. Shout out to Aiden Projects, bro. <laughs> he did all this because Nick didn't want to talk to Slug or pay for his boring Discord calls, which he illegally recorded with Benicion talking about fucking League of Legends or some shit. He gave us a free sample on Angry Slug's productions. Let me hear this. Like, he already went to jail once. Can you uh, hear how good this that? is? Look how Something steamy like it is! And they say his current relationship is illegal, how so? I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it either, I just know that he went to jail a long time ago. His relationship is illegal? They say Davi Vanity is actively taking part in illegal relationships and I'm just wondering why. Fascinating. He lied about being a hacker numerous times before breaking on Edwin's stream where he admitted to lying about Anision hating his kids. I don't even think you're a hacker. Are you a hacker? That's okay. You Dude, you, you, you claimed- wait, here, you claimed you hacked into Onision's Discord server by photoshopping something. Yeah, that's, how's that hacking? Can you explain that to me? That's hacking. Social engineering, hacking the human. Oh, f I'm oh, fuck it's not a fucking Oh my hacking. god, everyone's oh, always oh, against that. No, I'm no, 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 mother fuck off. That's not hacking, that's just lying and deception. And that there was evidence that Anision had committed all these crimes. Which his reason for doing so has conveniently changed over time. From him saying that he actually believed these things on Edwin's livestream, to not knowing why he lied about this stuff. I flat out lied on Hanson's streams. I honestly can't remember why I did, but at this point, I recognized it was fucked up. And then most recently getting on Tommy C's stream and claiming that Chris Hansen told him to lie about everything. I openly lied because I brought it up to Hansen and I said, hey man, I don't feel comfortable about that shit. 
I don't feel comfortable about saying it. And he's like, don't worry about it. No one will care. Even though when Muda asked him on Edwin's stream if there was any ever coaching or verifying evidence on Hansen's part, Slug never said that he told him to lie. So Chris, did, did he ever confirm these facts with you or did he ever like you know put you on the spot in a pre-interview and tell you hey man all right all you're about to tell me like onision hating his kids or like all this grandiose hacking and all this bullshit is it verifiable did Good he question. do that with you or did he not did chris hansen pre-interview you and try to confirm any of your allegations against him that's all i'm asking you know what hey, yes or no question. Uh -oh. i did not have an interview like that no. He was alive, but his power going out during a debate on Augie's stream. You know what? I, I, I bet that one night at Augie's stream, your power didn't actually go out, and it was really just you stealing someone else's Wi-Fi. No, 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 no. Yo, his friend ratted him out. Yo, Big Money on Isigan ratted him out like 20 minutes <laughs> no, ago. No, no, he said, yeah, the power no. No, no, no. He just said you yeah, were mad. I, no, no, no. Earlier in the stream, what? I told Edwin. I told Edwin. My power did not go out. I told Yeah, he him. pretended his power went out so he didn't have to debate us live. He lied about being a drunk for whatever reason because he has a medical condition that prevents him from being able to consume alcohol without going to the hospital. People around me know I have ulcerative colitis. I get tired easy. Were you serious when you said Onision being mean to people led you to drink? It f***s with me at night. There are nights where after hearing Greg's disgusting nasally voice, I've had to just drink myself drunk. Do you drink a lot? Yeah. Depression's not fun. Oh, God. And blaming it on depression, which he didn't have earlier in <laughs> Edwin's stream when Ruta asked him if he was going to be okay. You're going to be Genuinely, all right, dude? Yeah. I'm going to be <laughs> fine. Like, I'm not, like, I'm mentally fine, emotionally yeah. fine. So he even lied about lying on the stream. It's like lieception, man. You can get lost all the lies. Some more notable lies he told include claiming the cops contacted him about a bomb threat that was supposedly made under his name a month to the day that it happened, and then blamed Lucky Film Librarian for framing him, implying that they called it the bomb threat using Slug's name, which would be impossible based on Slug's own detective work. See, Slug was snooping around trying to see what Film Librarian were saying about him privately, and came across them looking into what classes were being taught at Slug's campus, because they didn't believe that he was actually going to school for the courses he said he was going for, i.e. cybersecurity and criminal law or some shit. Once he saw this, he tried spreading the narrative that Lucky Phil and Librarian were obtaining his information to use maliciously, specifically to get him harmed or killed. Everyone told Slug that he was crazy and that wasn't a thing, and then all of a sudden this bomb threat was called into one of Slug's classes, and the person who made the call said that they were Slug. Now, that may make sense until you see the dates cited in Slug's own FBI report, citing that Phil and Librarian were looking up Slug's class is on February 4th and the supposed bomb threat was called in on January 19th, 16 days before Film Librarian had even looked up the information. The fact that Slug claims the police didn't contact him until an exact month after leads me to believe that he was just looking at the public crime and fire log, which is what he linked as evidence conveniently, which is separated by month. So he probably just thought he was looking at February's logs instead of January's and seeing that there was a bomb threat called in on that day. He also claimed that Lucky Phil and I sent a hitman to his dorm room and that his roommate was texting him to say that some guy was knocking on the door and said that Steve and Lucky Phillips sent them. Slug apparently told his roommate to grab a knife and wait for Slug to come save the day. I mean, what a hero. Uh, I claim that I sent my community to harass his non-existent girlfriend by sending her death and rape threats that I mentioned earlier. We told others privately that he was so happy that my community didn't find her because he didn't want her harassed. Which, real quick here, I would never get my community to go after anyone. I go after people myself and my audience just sits back and watches. And sometimes I even like say, hey Steve, you're a fucking idiot. And they'll leave. They do not engage other than liking my posts and commenting their opinions far away from your crazy ass. He claims he turned himself into police after sharing CP on Twitter and adding a bunch of YouTubers after claiming the links were dead. I got a tip by one of Bo Blacks' mods. Then I get put in contact with a guy named Anton. Anton gives me a whole bunch of information. I posted some docspin links. I made sure that there was nothing illegal in those docspin links. So I have the timeline, right? I guess the audience has the timeline, right? Um, you were notified from someone else about this Rohan guy. You made a tweet um, adding some larger content creators to cover him because he was doing some bad things. Uh, then someone said that there was CP in the links, even though you checked the links with a, a dead link checker or whatever. Um, you thought for a second oh that you did, in fact, post CP. So you went to the police to turn yourself in. Uh, they found that you didn't post CP. And then that was that's that's the timeline, right?
That's basically yes. Which would make linking them redundant. Why would you check to see if a link was dead and then post it? Not to mention him describing the CP in detail when he got called out for it, deleting every tweet he ever made and changing his app. So then when he supposedly went to the police, he gave him all his hard drives and they put him at a drunk tank for five hours while they checked his devices for the CP. Can you walk us through like what happened at the police station and why like there isn't a report or why they couldn't give you something that shows that yeah. the interaction happened or you know what I mean? Yeah. So when I went in, I went in just point blank saying this, hey, I'm being accused of posting child pornography on Twitter. I brought every piece of electronics that I own. And I so like your iPad, in. your iPhone, your laptop, your desktop, all your er, okay. external hard drives, you brought them all in, yeah. plopped them on the table and was like, here. Yes but I have a small police station near my home. So I turned myself in and they handled all of that. I just got walked into the fucking drunk tank and they're basically having me held there. So they, they, they actually there. held you while they searched your devices? Yes. That's interesting. So I waited multiple hours on end, around 10 hours and they're just like, hey, take your shit, get out. <laughs> they said just like that? I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. Did they actually I'm say quit wasting taxpayers' money? I took it as that. They said quit wasting our time. I asked because I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to need proof of this. They're like, yeah, no, there's nothing to write a police report about. Nothing illegal was done. But what about nothing Rohan? Nothing. Rohan was handled by other authorities in Europe. This sounds retarded, don't worry, you're right, it is. Slug then claimed that he couldn't show anything proving that he went to the police station as he didn't want to dox his location. Funny, because I thought that that was already doxed, so why would that matter? And when asked why he wouldn't request the drunk tank footage, it was because he said it would be too easy to fake. So there's cams in the, the drunk tank. I've been in the drunk tank a couple times. Um, I wonder if you could like ask the police for the footage from that day and then that would show you in the drunk tank waiting for the for them to process everything and that could be your evidence again it is possible it is possible but this is my defense for not wanting to go further i've been doxxed once and i don't want anyone getting more of my personal information they only got my Game school changes. and full name yeah. They did not get anywhere close to my home. Well, I guess Phil and Librarian couldn't have sent that pipe bomb, huh? I'm not going to try and get security tapes from that and release it because for transparency, I would have to disclose where the station is and everything involving that. And I just don't want to. You couldn't redact it and be like, this is obviously like, I didn't fake sitting in a holding cell. How could I even do that? But I'm not telling you like where the holding cell you is can. and so. No, you can fake it. It's very easy. Most universities do have a very, very good like drama department every now and then, especially with a lot so of- they have budget. holding cells? No, you're able to make one. Okay. Oh, and we contacted Slug's police department and asked if anything like this happened or if this would be the way that we conduct an investigation like this. Both answers were no. They did seem very interested in you though, Slug. It was also interesting that you don't seem to mention going to the police in your FBI report or list the police department as it asks you to do in order to conduct a proper investigation, which would be at least withholding information if not lying on an official government document, which is punishable by law when you signed that shit and submitted this nonsense. Slug also claims he has four degrees in various fields despite never showing any of his diplomas even though the only two things that are known about him are his full name and university i don't see what's stopping him from posting them which leads me to think he's full of shit and the only reason he keeps going back to school is because he's either taking meaningless classes like gender equality studies or he's failing all these degrees he's trying to obtain the dude says he has a degree in cybersecurity that somehow gets doxxed and has never been able to hack a single thing despite claiming that he makes viruses and shit i would love to see slug even explain how a virus works you know me i used to make viruses and code some stuff I never and, knew that you made viruses and codes. Yeah, you did. I thought I'd tell you about it. Oh, well. I don't remember that whatsoever. Slug so claims to speak four languages as well, which I don't believe, because whenever he's asked to say anything in another language, he refuses. Can you say... I'm trying to think of something cool to say in a different language, but I don't, I'm, I'm running a blank. Yeah, I'm not going to play that little game, Steve. 
How is it a game? I'm just curious. Can you say, I want to buy some oranges. I'm not going to say I want to buy some oranges from Carlos in Spanish. Why are you wanting me to say little phrases? He says this is the reason that he talks so slow, because he says English isn't his first language. He has to translate everything. I speak Japanese four name. languages, so I got to translate it. Yet you never hear him mutter or swear in other languages like you would normally see in a person whose native language isn't English. The evidence that was given to me was a... Well, okay, okay. He also said he's fluent in Spanish but couldn't wrap his mind around French. I don't speak other languages. I speak a little bit of French. Because it made me. They made me learn. I tried learning French. That shit's weird. I could never get it. But I thought you spoke Spanish. Yeah, I speak Spanish, Korean, English, and a tiny bit of German. Spanish and French are pretty you speak more language close. Me. Where the lexical similarities between the two are about 75%, meaning they share many of the same words and way of speaking. As long as a lot about me, obviously, most recently calling me a woman beater, a rapist, a doxer, all of which are untrue and have no basis in reality. Like I said before, no woman has even accused me of hitting her or raping them. Slug came to these conclusions himself. I've never publicly posted anyone's personal information online, unlike Sluggy Wuggy here. So Slug will just make things up on the spot. I hope no consequences come from it, I guess. So it would seem foolish to believe anything Slug claims because he's literally lied more than he's told the truth at this point. Which makes me think that he has some kind of condition causes him to do this. And when you've been caught this many times, I have to assume that everything you say is a lie until you can show the receipts to back up what you're saying. And even then, like you've been shown to doctor receipts. Like most notably the Photoshop image that got you into a Nation's Discord server. And all that shit that apparently proved that the 16 year old was part of a, the royal family. <laughs> Which brings us to our final segment, weaponizing slash being appropriate with minors. The most recent and absurd way <laughs> Slug has tried to weaponize a minor was convincing a 16 year old to pose as a member of the royal family in England and act as if he was trying to hire Angry Slug as a video editor. It seems harmless so far, right? Well, well, hold on. Slug then gave the 16 year old Lucky Phil's full docs that he obtained through scrolling through Phil's Facebook history until he found a post of Phil's tax return. Using this tax return information, he then posed as Lucky Phil on a government website to gain access to Phil's address, banking information, and phone number. Once like had given the 16 year old Phil's docs, he told him to reach out to Phil and say that he was doing a background check and that he was requesting Phil remove all social media posts relating to Slug as it would compromise employment of him under the royal family. See, this is, see, this is getting kind of loopy. He also gave him a deadline and made Phil well aware of all of his info going as far as to call him on his personal cell phone at 5 in the morning to tell him to comply with the background check. I even brought this up to Slug during our little debate, saying that that's not how background checks are done, which he insisted not. This is how background checks are done, bro. What kind of background check involves doxing someone and threatening them? I've had a few of those for some jobs. Oh, you've had they a few background checks that threaten you right, with your docs? That's a common thing in a background check? Certain ones. Uh, okay, bud. Which is complete bullshit. No one would conduct a background check like this. I've had a lot of jobs. None of them have ever reached out to anyone who's ever posted shit about me online and been like, hey, we know exactly where you are. You better take all this shit down. Wouldn't happen. If it was really that much of a problem, they would just not hire slug. They would go and find someone easier. They wouldn't be like intimidating people in Australia from England for a dude in America. I really want you to think just how insane this scheme is that absolutely did not need to involve a minor. The only reason I can think of him seeking out a minor for this is A, only a minor would go along with a plan that's loopy, and B, if the person who did intimidate Phil with this unorthodox background check were to get caught, they wouldn't see any ramifications because of their age and the country they live in. This kid definitely did not need to be roped into slug stupid drama with film librarian that I'm convinced will never end at this point. But you don't need to involve minors, which slug has done time and time again. Slug also turned a 15 year old into a spy for him to gather intel from a film librarian, and then accused the 15 year old of leaking slug's DMs to them, when the only things that Phil and librarian ever saw was what Slug posted publicly himself. After being accused of spying for both sides and being interrogated, this kid ended up having a mental breakdown because of Slug's obsession with film librarian, which Slug didn't care as long as he got those juicy receipts. He also posted nudes of himself in a 17-year-old server, granted it was a not safe for work channel. I mean, all you have to do to bypass this is just give you the 18 plus role. And I'm pretty sure the owner can see all the channels either way, regardless of roles. So at best you're playing with fire, 
At worst, you posted your ass where a minor could see it and probably get scarred for life. Some more inappropriate behavior slugs engaged with with minors involved sharing sex toys in his server where he knew minors were and actually fighting with his mods when having this pointed out to him. He's also told numerous kids to kill themselves and he hopes that their family members will either die or get raped. And on top of that, he's gone to threaten minors, remove the librarian from their servers by a certain date or else like will be forced to drag them into drama publicly for uh, endorsing his doxers. This is actually what got like banned from a server for good. Didn't you threaten a minor um, to kick or demod Phil and Librarian Where? from their server or else you'd have to drag them into their drama? I have screenshots of this. I'm just saying like, you, did you not? Oh, the pie man yeah, thing? Yeah, pie man. Oh, the pie man oh. thing. Let's talk about that. I was like, hey man, I don't want to drag you into this shit. Why would you need and to And I let him know like, it. hey, live and fill are doxers. If he's fully okay with like having doxers on his moderation team, that's hit up to him. But I'm letting him know that I'll speak about it just like how you said you can speak about whatever you want. Well, why are you going or, after am a I kid? Wrong about that? Why are you going after a just kid? Answer, no, you can do that. I'm saying you, you're completely in your right to do that. Slug. I just answered. You're completely in your right to do that. I'm just saying it looks fucking shitty. And why are you going after kids? Like, what's. You have like a pattern of behavior for going after kids, it seems. Why? So I think those are more than enough reasons why Slug should probably not be around kids if he can't help himself involving them in his drama. And it's not something kids need to be a part of or worried about in the first place. Fuck, I shouldn't even need to worry about this shit. But you make sharing a platform with your ass this unbearable that this video had to be made. So to wrap things up, I don't think Slug should be trusted or welcome in any community. He's transcended Britbong levels of lolcow. And the only reason he doesn't have a Kiwi farm thread on him is because they know he feeds off attention. Which is one of the reasons I was so hesitant to make this video to begin with. I thought just ignoring Slug would make him give up trying, but he's still trying to wiggle his way into communities and find his next target to like the fucking bitch about me, librarian, he bought Phil, Cly, everyone, anyone he's ever had a fucking problem with in his life. And he's never gonna stop bitching about Phil and Librarian because they're the only ones actually paying attention to his shit. I don't want people like Tommy C, Muda, Tipster, Edwin, anyone to give this guy a leg to stand on or give him the benefit of the doubt when he's proven time and time again that he is dead set on becoming famous by making himself appear as a victim while harassing, doxing, and stalking people behind the scenes, whether you have a following or not. Speaking of which, Sluggy Wuggy, you were trying to run some gay op shit on me by downloading all of my public logs from my Discord server, uh, but I was able to get all of your DMs in that private chat where you were plotting to kill people's animals, amongst other disturbing things. I was also able to get your entire storage server before it got nuked, among other DMs and recordings of you threatening and doxing people. Oh, and every time you shared that wiretap call you were supposed to delete, and I didn't even need to work for it, people just sent me this shit. All of this has been sent to authorities, so have fun dealing with that. I hope that 4K lawyer was worth it, pal. Mwah! Finally, I can move on with my fucking life.